What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Savin and I'm the crafter at Little King Goods here in sunny Morrison, California. We're not at all in California, we're in Canada where it's freezing, hence my, my hoodie here. But anyway, today's video is all about how I create my designs in Adobe Illustrator. By no means is this a crazy in-depth tutorial about how to use Illustrator. I'm just going to show you how I quickly transform shapes into cool minimalist wallets and just what I needed. Let's look at it. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy and I hope you learn something today. Thank you, Ryan. I hope I do. I use both PC and Mac and the keyboard's a little bit different. So when I say control on a PC, I really mean command on a Mac. Or when I say alt on a PC, I mean option on a Mac. So just keep that in mind if you're following along. Will do. Alt and option and command. I hear that. Okay. This is a little design that I created the other day, so I'm just gonna recreate this. So we're gonna go up to File, New, and find Letter. If you're in Europe or somewhere that uses A4, you can use A4. So let's go Letter, and I'm just gonna set this up to millimeters. Darn it, millimeters! It's millimeters, not inches. You can hold and select Rectangle, and so we're just gonna draw a basic rectangle. And up here on the top, you can see that you have your width and your height. I know that I want my width to be 80, and my height to be 110 millimeters. So 80 wide, 110 high. Got it. So with Ryan's help in, uh, in being such an inspiration to me, uh, I gave a shot at this wallet. So this is what I came up with. It was just messing around. I'm just still learning shapes and all that stuff. So it's just me messing around. So be kind. <laughs> But that's what I came up with. I'm not using the, the font, um, you know, as on my normal wallets. If I decide if this works out, if this works out, um, I'm just using it to uh, still learn how the laser is going to cut and engrave. So I just drew some, uh, some lettering on here or fonts or whatever you want to call it, on uh, the front wall, front pocket, and on the back pocket. So let's see what it, see what we come up with. So I just saved this to my desktop, which is right here. And then if we go to the GoForge app, we can take it and bring it right in. There we are. You know, a quick note here is if uh, if you're using two different pieces of leather or color leather or just two different pieces of leather, I guess. And uh, once you put your your piece of leather in here, um, and you you're doing two different a uh, two tone leather like two different colors uh whatever which one you're using because you know we got this one here i don't know if you're having a hard time seeing that it's because i don't have anything in there just yet but see how i brought it in i brought it in as one big file but you can still separate each pocket so if i have one piece of leather in here for these two these two pockets, these two inner pockets, then I would just delete the outer pocket and then just use, you know, these, these two pockets, if that makes any sense. You know, you can put them around your leather and just cut those out. All right, let's just get something loaded up here and start cutting.
it's it's pulling out all the <laughs> the little holes that it drilled. tape off some letters some of the letters and numbers I have to take the uh, masking tape off I'm not sure why that laser end up cutting this middle hole twice I'm not sure uh, why it did that and then also this is this is a uh, Wicked and Craig this is uh, Wicked and Craig traditional harness leather um, it seemed to, the lasers seemed to change it a little bit but so this the holes came out really nice all the stitching holes I can see all the way through them all um, I you, you notice I put masking on the leather see the back side it kind of charred up a little bit but I should be able to clean that up nobody's really gonna see it but I'll clean it up and then all the holes for the middle pocket the only see the only thing I see that could be a problem with this thank you Ryan <laughs> just kidding is uh let me let me show you like if I just put this together here real quick so if I put a card in here this front pocket looks like it would work out this front pocket looks like it's gonna work out great and then I can just you know use my thumb push to push it up but the the inside pockets The inside pocket, you know, using uh, Ryan over at Little King Goods measurements, this was 80 wide by 110 millimeters, by the way. And if we put this this card in this pocket, it's it's like this pocket's too deep. See how you can't card should be up here but not sure I measured this too to make sure it was 80 by 110 uh, put my roller here and um, so I'm still gonna stitch it up <laughs> I'm not gonna cut another one um, Ryan's pretty pretty darn good at what he does and uh, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna put all these pieces together and uh, see if I can create a wallet. I'm not gonna. This is just a prototype. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, bevel the edges or burnish them. I mean they're they're black as it is but I think once I have the wallet built I will bevel and probably have to sand down anything unevenness unevenness and then I'll uh, bevel and burnish and to finish off the, the outer part of the wallet so let me get cracking Thank you. 
So I let this dry up for a little while. And let's see if I can get this thing uh, lined up properly. So they're off a little bit. I didn't get them as flush. The bottom's nice and flush, but the sides are. It's like all the layers are moving over this way a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to do some sanding. All right. I'm gonna use This is a uh, number one thread. And I don't remember what they compare that to. And I can't remember the size of needle I'm using, but I'm going to use cream thread on this. Um, but I know these stitch holes, the stitch holes are. Uh, charred inside and sometimes it can change your your thread will get dirty from the laser from uh, being charred inside let's see if all my holes line up they do they kind of do <laughs> so I know that the uh, Sending my thread through uh, might change color, might get dirty, but I I don't care. I can use just use brown thread or anything, but I just don't just don't uh, really care. It's just a prototype. <laughs> I don't do a lot of hand stitching. I won't bore you with me doing the whole entire process. So what I like to do is start back a couple of holes. I don't start at the very first hole. I start back a couple of holes so I can back stitch. <laughs> Not sure if you can see it, but the thread is, is starting to look dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a rustic looking thread. I did a pretty good job of, of uh, laying out my stitching holes. I wanted a, I don't know if you can see it, but I wanted a hole right at the top of this front pocket. So that kind of worked out.
like I said, I don't do a lot of uh, hand stitching, so I don't know if, uh, by the looks of it, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough thread. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? I watch some of these guys on uh, YouTube that hand stitch and they could just blow through a project like this. They just, they're so talented. Not me. My biggest thing is uh is stabbing my thread that you, my, that's already in the hole and what a mess that creates. Boy, it's cold out this morning. This morning uh, I said it was negative one. I just checked uh, about a half hour ago and it said it was up to three degrees. So that was my first time using the Dremel as a sander. Ryan, what'd you do to me? <laughs> if I, uh, so this is it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. I think this top where you pull your card out, could have dropped it down some because the pocket seems way too deep. And I went off Ryan's measurements. But watch. It, look how, you can't even see it. It's so far down there. It's like... 
it's like it's almost like right here so I would have to drop this swoopy doop down really really far or you know make this whole wallet smaller this card holder I guess the front pocket the front pocket works perfect but you can't get to uh, you can't get to your your middle ones I mean you can kind of squeeze your pocket and then reach down here and grab them definitely can fit a couple of uh Hmm. Hmm. This is the uh, the back one. This is the back one. Fits in there really, really nice. Definitely, definitely put a lot of cards in here. It's just that that middle one. What gives, Ryan? What gives? <laughs> I mean, I'm just joking around. Um, it's not Ryan's fault. Could have been me. I measured it a bunch of times. I stood there going, uh, when 110 millimeters on the height, probably could go 100. So 100 here, 80 here. Am I going to have to try another one? I mentioned that I was just putting uh, engraving. That's not probably what I'll put on the wallet. But I wanted to see how engraving, you know, how the whole system works between using the Illustrator and sending it over to GoForge and how GoForge knows what to cut and what to engrave. But also I was trying on different pieces of leather. Like this is the uh, Wicked and Craig traditional harness it has a you know a glossy feel to it and I just wanted to see how the laser was going to react towards it um, it engraves phenomenal on that leather it's crisp it's clean it looks really good you can read all the, the letters there's no burnt marks around it so I wanted to give that a try that was main reason why I put so much font on this card <laughs> but the card size I mean the wallet size seems like it could be a little shortened up I'm not sure if 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 Ryan's design was for a card in here I'm assuming it was because I think he did mention it in the video because it's too deep and like if I put that middle that middle card in there. I mean, it it'll stay in place, but it could fall down there, and and I have to kind of. It's hard to get that card out, but it could be just because the way I did my sloopy doop. It feels good. The size feels good. Um, I'm just not sure why that middle pocket so deep but you know um had a fun 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 day making this working with the uh the computer working with the laser uh hand stitching it i don't do a lot of hand stitching so it was fun doing that it was a fun little project um i'm gonna tweak it up some more um of course i'm not gonna do this type of engraving on it I'm going to do something a little bit more uh, subtle. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do the little cutouts for the thumb. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, I, I would never even be able to figure this thing out without these YouTube creators out there like Ryan with the Little King Goods, um, Stock and Barrel. Uh, there's so many of them. Like, I'm drawing a complete blank right now because I watch a whole bunch of them. And I'm, this whole 
thing that I'm doing down here is all because of them. I'm so thankful and grateful that people like Ryan. Thank you to all the leather craftsmen that have uh, that puts out their knowledge through YouTube or Instagram. Um, for guys like me that just doing this as a hobby and don't have a lot of time, I can watch your videos while sitting at lunchtime, um, out working, and it gives me inspiration. It gives me hope that I can actually figure this thing out. My version of the Little King Goods card wallet, I guess. Fun little project. That's all I have for you guys today. So thanks for watching. Um, and don't forget, if you want to save some cash on your Glow Forge, uh, click the link below and you can save up to 500 bucks. Alright, again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace!